we're now going to look at some of the new multicam enhancements in Final Cut Pro 10.1. Now, these enhancements are quite significant because before this version of Final Cut, you're pretty much dealing with audio and video angles, you've been cutting between them, and now you can actually detach the audio and treat audio and video as separate entities when you're editing with multicam clips. Correct? Yeah, yeah it even goes beyond that. I mean, basically, um, multicams have always been a great feature in Final Cut Pro 10. Yeah, right? well, they just the been best. A, super easy to yeah. use, but there's been a couple things that have been a little bit difficult to do with audio. Now, basically, anything that you can do with audio in an ordinary clip, you can do in a multicam clip including right. detaching audio, fading audio component handles, and a few other things. So let's just look at how some of that works. So I have a, a scene that we looked at a little bit before. This is a little uh, dramatic movie, a little short that you guys shot in San Diego. And I've actually done a multicam edit out of this. Now the thing to understand about this, it wasn't shot as a multicam, it wasn't shot like a live event with multiple cameras. We didn't have right? two cameras. We had one camera, right. just we moved the camera which setup. You, which you typically do, right? You shoot a you shoot establishing wide shot, you shoot a close-up of the shoulder of each of the actors. So we all have these separate shots, and for each setup there were multiple takes. But with multicam, and especially with these new audio features, it makes it very easy to put all those into a multicam clip and create a rough cut edit. And now you can massage the edit within the multicam clip. So I wanted to show that. So what I'm gonna do is all I've done, this rough cut here has each uh, little piece um, established where the audio and video are both being cut together at the same time. So what you're gonna hear, we're just gonna play the first three clips. In fact, I'll zoom in a little bit so we can just focus on these first three clips. And what you'll hear is the audio and the video for each clip as it was recorded. Okay, so things will be a little bit off, which it normally is when you, when you first assemble a scene like this. So let's play it. Jump out of a plane. Well, no one just jumps out of a plane. They have parachutes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what about what about swimming with sharks? Hmm. Do I get a shark cage? What? Well, how big of a shark are we talking about here? Open water. Man eater. <laughs> okay. So here's what I want to talk about here in terms of things that we can do. If I go to this second clip, let's listen to it again. Hmm. Do I get a shark cage? You hear there's a little noise there, right? Yeah. Everybody says, hmm. Yeah. There's a little, there's some kind of weird noise. They're, they're near a bunch of boats, I think. So you can hear some of the sounds of the marina, which is fine, but. Sharks. Hmm. Do I get a shark? There's definitely a little sound in there, yeah. okay? Now you could potentially go in and cut it out, but let's see what we can do with this um, in a different way. So because we have multiple takes of him with this line. Right, so let's listen to the other options that we have. So what I'm gonna do is right click on it and choose expand audio components, which is different than expanding audio and video because it'll show me all the components that are currently active. And right now all we have is this, this one, which is the same audio as the clip. In fact, if you see the clip names match, C014, C014. But let's look, I know we have more audio because this thing was shot multiple times. We're working with a multicam clip with four angles. So if I go to the inspector, and look at audio and look at the channel configuration. Sorry, I have to have the clip selected. There we see each of the different channels. And in fact, these are each of the different cameras. If I pop them open, each camera just recorded one channel of audio. If I pop each of those open. And only one is active right now, the one uh, audio that was shot with that camera, which actually the audio was shot to a separate device, right? You shot to a separate recording device. Yes, we had a separate like H4N. We okay, to that. and then you made synchronized clips with the synchronized clip feature mm -hmm. in Final Cut. So this is the one we're using now. So we play this one. Hmm. We can hear that little whoop. Right. So I want to play the other one, see if there's a better one. So what I'm going to do is turn on this next one. You can see it shows up in the timeline when I do As that. As a component. As a component. I'll turn this one off and let's check that one out. Do I get a shark cage? What? And notice it's out of sync, yes. right? Which is expected because these were shot one after the other and not exactly the same. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. This is the cool thing. So let's go to the next one. Let's try this one out. Hmm. Do I get a shark cage? That's okay, but he kind of makes a lip smacking sound right. with that one. Ah, I'm not sure about that one. Let's listen to this top one. And notice every time I'm switching, the new one is showing the timeline. Hmm. Do I get a shark cage? So I like that. Hmm, do I get a shark cage? We hear a little of the background, that's fine. But um, it's right, but it's not in sync. Let's play through it again. Hmm. Do I get a shark cage? Okay. So it's not in sync, but it's what we want. But here's the cool thing about this now. Now, before we go any further, yeah. that is a multicam. You took those, those 
ult, uh, those four takes, whatever, and just bundled them as a multicam clip. Yep, just synced them as a multicam. Yeah. And just, not even caring about whether they're actually in line with what he's saying nope, or not. No, okay. close, they're close enough. I just enough. wanted to kind of clarify yeah, that. Yeah, close first. enough, because you can't really sync separate angles where you're retaking a shot multiple times from different angles. You get close, right. but the actors are de delivering their lines a little differently each time. So what I'm going to do here is right-click on this clip and choose to... Uh, detach the audio. Okay, this is the new feature. You couldn't attach. You could not detach multicam clip audio wow. before. So what it allows us to do, if I do that, is now we get these two green bars, and um, I'll come in, I'll zoom in a little bit closer. The reason we have two gr green bars is because the audio components are actually expanded. Okay, so the, this bar at top represents all the audio components. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and collapse the audio components. So now we have a detached audio clip. With essentially one component being visible. Yes, so if you play it. Mm. Do I get a shark cage? What, how big? Okay, so we can see there's his voice in the waveform. Do I get a shark cage? Let's move the playhead to where he starts to say it in the video. Here, do. See, he's saying, do I get a shark cage right about there? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just press T for the trim tool, and I'm gonna slip this clip. I'm gonna move that waveform right to where okay, he starts so, talking. So this slipping of the audio is new, what you're doing. Yeah, because you couldn't detach the, you could slip audio, but you couldn't detach it to begin with. I got it. All right, so you have to be able to detach it to slip it. <laughs> got it. So you could slip audio if it were separate audio, but this is the only way to separate in a multicam clip. So now let's play that through. Sharks. Hmm. Do I get a shark cage? <laughs> All right, it's beautiful, right? It's pretty cool. You just slip right over yeah. and, and, you're, and you're good to go. So that's one great feature is that you can grab audio from anywhere in your multicam edit, move it in somewhere else, and slip it however you want.